and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Tarek. We're going to be trying the support mechanic um, in the new set, Call of the Mountain, our new expansion. I guess that's what it is. It's, it's an expansion. Um, and we have a whole bunch of allies with support. And so that's what we're going to be going with. Um, and really just kind of seeing how seeing how they work together. Now, there's a good chance that both Lulu and Tarek, you know, they're both support champions, that they would work better with other champions in other regions. There's a good chance of that. But we're going to try them together and, um, you know, kind of see how, see how they work, see how they play, and everything like that. Because we're testing. This is day one of the format. Celestial Dragons looked super powerful that we just got done playing. We're going to try out um, these two new support champions together. And we just had rank uh, start working now. So, like, we played in normal with the Celestial Dragons because ranked wasn't up. It is now up and available. Just happened after our last match. So, we'll go on over to ranked. We are platinum four, but that does mean that we are playing against um, all people that were masters in the master's rank in the previous um ranked season as well because they went down to uh this rank everybody that was in masters went down here to platinum four all uh, right let's see could just mulligan i guess we'll keep Tarek with it being a new card and everything and new champion, but could honestly mulligan that too because we want to make sure that we can get earlier cards. Raise your weapon, Sunwin. Alright, I'm gonna have Which one do we want to support with? Granted permanent plus zero plus two, which is great. Um yeah, we'll go with that one. one foot it's other. unlikely they play... I mean, they could play... I mean, it's unlikely. I don't know. Shadow Isles. Yeah, okay. So they played Mistrate. No time to rest. So we'll trade this with Mistrate. That's fine. We'll get that plus two, plus four permanent buff. No, please. And that's fine. Yeah, I went River Shaper uh, to, to go along with these. That should be... That could be a pretty nice card to have. Yep, so Tarek would give Lulu Tough. Um, I guess I... Hmm. I guess I have to skip blocking to be able to level up this. Uh, Lulu. Sunblast Vigor is pretty good too. I'm ready to shine. We'll see. This may be greedy going for the champion instead of playing the young witch and having the Sunblast Vigor as protection. That levels up Lulu. Now Lulu has four health and tough. It's not likely to die. We reheal this Solari soldier back up to a 4 4. And now Tarek has seen has now seen two out of seven supports. Oh, I don't, I don't know, Sheltering Hand. I mean, we'll see whenever that, that moment comes and what, what they're all about and everything. I, that's not a decision that I have made or anything right now that I don't know. Okay, let's see. How are we surviving this turn? <laughs> Get out of here! The 
mountain endures. Hmm. Get him, Piss. The guilty were bad. I'm going down to five. About to level up this Taric. Um. I want to do this. We can grow everything plus two plus two and everything if we play this it's Mountain Sojourners. Time. I'm definitely considering just playing this Blessing of Targon. We can grant something else elusive. Uh, heck, let's just play this Sojourners. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. Okay, so this is going to support Lulu, which supports the Young Witch, which supports the Taric, which supports the Solari Soldier. Alright. See what happens. I should have had this support the Young Witch and have Young Witch support Lulu. I don't know. I wanted Lulu to pump up the Young Witch to do a lot of damage to them. But I guess that means my Lulu dies. So they're at four. Um, all we gotta do is survive this attack, basically, because, you know, we'll kill them with Young Witch, or we'll kill them with, like, uh, whatever we give Elusive over here. This is not too easy to play, to be honest. Because then you have to, like, make your blocking decisions of, but then, you know, you really want them to attack also. Oh, they just grabbed Shark Chariot? Wow. That Stalking Shadows grabbed Shark Chariot? That's my guess. And they got to play one, grow this Bark Beast, but... Ooh. Sunburst could be important. Uh, yes. Um, well, no, each, like, Sojourner... Okay, so no, they grabbed Bark Beast. Um, each Sojourner doesn't affect... Is it adventure time, um, You are. Yeah. Each each sojourner doesn't affect Tarek, no. As far as counting towards the seven. Hmm. I was hoping they were just gonna spend their six mana on Hecarim, and then I was gonna sunburst Hecarim, and then that would have been great. I don't think that should challenge that elusive. I think you should challenge like Taric, and then have to see if my elusive blocks it. You know, make my elusive block these things. No mercy for heretics. That's what I think they should have done. But 
maybe they have Vile Feast. I can kill that with Vile Feast. Hopefully not. Pass back to me. Alright, and the game's over. Ooh, with Spell Shield now also. Alright, we're gonna Honor the Mountain. Oh no, give, give Tarek plus three plus three. Support the other one, which would also give that one plus three plus three. And then they both couldn't die show. or take damage. And then we even had Spell Shield for protection. Okay, that was pretty impressive. First game. Got to curve out really well. No, they did not have any more space. No, they attacked with six things. I had five blockers. They had six attackers. I, there was one blocker or one attacker I couldn't block. Start with the Young Witch. Basically, I think I would just need... I need to just find all of my cheap support creatures all the time. And so I'm going to be... Basically, with all of my mulligans, I'm just going to be, like, mulliganing my spells and looking for curving out with these support units. Uh, 15 spells in the deck. Shouldn't be too difficult to find different spells. Uh... Uh, I suppose so. I guess that's bad against Vile Feast. My journey begins here and ends at the top. Yeah, I guess that's bad against Vile Feast. Okay, cool. Stop me happy! No time to rest. But, you know, just we gotta fight through these hap hapless aristocrat and all these spiders eventually, anyway. That's why I blocked. Yeah, the dragons looked real good. They were real powerful for sure. Um, Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Set the hooks. All right, well, I hope they don't have... Hope they don't have Withering Whale. Yeah, get rid of those Vile Feasts. That's what I like to see, two of those. Tossed. Get them out of here. All right, you support you. Nope, and you support you. Um, and then you're also attacking. Uh, I guess I could go support you and then attack like that. Maybe just hold back on this flower child. So Lulu le levels up super fast. Ooh, that's a good one. Join us. The more hands, the better. I'll go as far as I'm able. It's possible I should have just taken the pass and then tried this for next turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sodium, Brella, there's a link to all my decks right there. Um, it's, you know, one of the very first ones. With a link for the dragon deck. Yeah, Celestial seems super powerful. Agree. Okay. So you support you. Who supports you, who supports you. And then you attack and you attack. So let's see. Let's have 
Who do we want to challenge? We want to challenge the lifesteal and put the lifesteal in front of... Lifesteal in front of the quick attack. All right, sweet. I'll take that. Because, yeah, then I don't think they... There really wasn't anything for them to keep alive there, because no matter where they blocked, we were going to be able to give the plus two, plus zero to something else, and we had the spell shield in our pocket also. So there wasn't there wasn't any block or any way our opponent could survive that turn. Uh, Mobilytics crashed. Um, I can get, let's see, I can get you the code. Give me just a minute here. For the Celestial Dragons, this is the code. Copy. Paste. Uh, yeah, every, so far, every, we've, we've played two decks so far. Uh, Z-Lad, and both of them I'm liking quite a bit. We played the Celestial Dragons, we went 5-0 with that. Now we're on Lulu, Tarek, and we are currently 2-0 with this one. They both looked really good. The The Celestial Dragons was just ridiculously powerful. This is more early game synergistic. Um, I could see this deck going under the Celestial Dragons deck. Nice, pulled off the Dragon Kick, Swole Squirrel combo. First try, there you go. Very nice. Uh, I don't... I really hope they don't have another one drop. I really hope they don't. Uh, which one of these do I want to play? Give me a punch. Can fly, Riff. Okay, okay. Oh. No, they had another one drop. Gross. Hey, Z-Lad with the Twitch Prime sub! Do my best. Thank you, Z-Lad. No I appreciate that. That is our fourth sub of the day. Yeah, expand new expansion, definitely super exciting. For sure. All right, so if I do this, we turn that into a 3-4. Let's go and do that. You know, they can kill Tiari. That's just how it is. But, you know, get, getting this Flower Child turned into a 3-4 matches up really well against these cards. Those permanent buffs. Okay, we've got a little bit of removal with William and Sunburst. What do we have? Misfortune and Illusion over there. You'll fight or you'll swim. Ooh, Bark Beast is good. Each life a rare jewel. Barking and everything. I'll Being all beasty. Did have a good aggressive hand. Um. Interesting. So they're giving me the kill on both of these if I want. But it goes, my flower child goes down to one health. The Tarek goes down to one health. New. <laughs> Sorry. I think I'd take one kill and keep Tarek. Same. Basically have my one drop take out, you know, a full petty officer, right? Like the three two part of the petty officer and one of the others. Um kind of the problem is this isn't a great attack for me, because the three three blocking. I just didn't I didn't want to just take six. I think I sit back though. I don't think I attack. 
The Sunburst matches up against the Grizzled Ranger. Fortune favors the bold. And of course it matches up against Misfortune as well. I think I get rid of this Grizzled Ranger though. We'll see, it's possible that's a mistake. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. I mean, their hand was pretty awesome. All sorts of threats everywhere. What's up, Potato? Strike, we will reform. All right, block here, take eight. Yuck. So, Potato, you had uh, two donation decks what form will the from before, take? and I didn't really get to them until like. It was almost the new set, and so I wanted to, to check to see if you if you wanted to change those out for anything with the new set. Um, certainly free to. So if you have you know if you have any things that you want to play instead, um, you know, let me know. Hey, Togrek. River shape the land and give it life. All right, I hope this works out for us one oh no one uh that makes life a lot more difficult hmm. that makes life so much more difficult man great hand for them to do. To protect all. Not so fast. Panicked there. So we're going to be bouncing a couple of things. Ooh, that's not bad. It's not bad. There's a chill in the air. I wish these Will of Ionia still cost four. Are you kidding me? What a hand. First loss. The triple one drop start really hurt them having that third one drop for the Fleet Feather Tracker. That really hurt me. Uh, but then just double Petty Officer giving them some good one drops. Alright, so facing another Taric deck, this one with Fiora. And trying out all that kind of stuff. So we'll have Flower Child. We have Lulu. I like both of those. River Shaper, pretty nice. But um, I think for now we're gonna mulligan both of these cards and see what else we get. Just a kick. 
killer. <laughs> Warshafts, why? I won't stop. Can you stomach this? You know what? You know, because Warshafts, of course, has that third health. I definitely like seeing this on Blessed Vigor. So cannot be cast in combat. So we'll probably be able to, probably, you know, like, they spend spells to get this Fiora or, you know, like, to kill my Lulu or anything we can protect with Will of Ionia. Yeah, I think I want to bounce those. Um, yeah, he, he bites. <laughs> Kawikama. Oh, he likes you. Their support units are better than my flower child's. Spell shield is pretty great. Eyes bigger. <sighs> My journey begins here and ends at the top. Water changes but never breaks. Swim within the flows of magic. Um, yeah, I mean, Diana's a good champion. I think Diana's, you know, pretty similar to Lucian in power level and everything. Yeah, I think Diana's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna be the day and night deck that we're, we're gonna play after this will be a Diana deck. Precision and grace. Fully expect that, yeah, I was gonna say, I fully expect that Fiora to stay alive. Do you get to strike twice and draw two spells, hopefully? Yep, there we go. Cool. Hopefully find some ways to be able to help us take down this Fiora. Or at least protect our River Shapers from the Fiora. Okay, so Rally will let them... That's going to give them their third kill. But I get to draw two more spells. What form will the waters take? A gift from the river folk. So those river shapers gave us a bunch of card advantage and a bunch of spells, which is kind of necessary because like, if, right, if we were just drawing units, that wouldn't help us too much. All right, so they're passing to me. I think I just simply end the turn, go back on the 
Go back on my turn. Let's see. So next turn we'll have 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So that would be Sunburst plus Will of Ionia mana. This is ally, ally. I can't do these to break up spell shields. Hey, Tan. Uh, love you, too. Alright, awesome. Fiora's reset. Back to zero. So don't need to worry if, you know, Fiora even kills one or two things. Fiora's reset back to zero. Spell shield if they want to fight. All right. Just have one card that we don't know about. I have eight mana. Give us a try with them just having the one card. Maybe I should have just let off with this so it would have the silence in case they'd have a barrier card. Uh, yep, should have let off with it so it would have the silence. The thing to be worried about with that card is the spell shield. That's that's the thing to be worried about with that card. Keep going. All right, cool. Okay, so I was what I, I was kind of thinking about whether or not to attack with River Shaper, and I I think I was gonna say no and not attack with River Shaper. But I don't know. I I could definitely see attacking with River Shaper. Actually, the answer was probably yes. Attack. Okay. See, so yeah, I was I was going to yes attack. That's why I was kind of going through the different scenarios of what would happen with their blocks and stuff. Um, but yeah, I do think River Shaper could have attacked there as well. All right. Now we're playing against Lulu with Shen. That's kind of weird. That like whenever we played the big Celestial deck, all we did was play against other big celestial decks and now we're playing this little lulu deck and now we're all we're playing against all these other support and lulu decks um and that card's super powerful but i need i need low cost cards i need low cost cards Ugh. Where are my support cards? There we go. Now we get in there. Now we get in there. 
Uh, let's see. We'll go with the soldier having the attack token immediately. Yeah, that's true. We were playing in, in normal before because the normal, I mean, because ranked wasn't open and now we're playing in ranked. Nice to play River Shaper, but I think it's the best to have the Sun Blessed Vigor available. That's a really nice card. Saved both of their units to kill both of mine. And for just the one mana, give them a couple more. That was a nice card. Break their spirits and their soul. Another nice card. Harry, repost. Aha. Come on, Rip. Oh, look, low friends. Water changes, but never breaks. It's another nice card <laughs> for just adding up nice cards here. Oh, don't get too close. You like frogs, huh? This is my opponent. I'll be kind of surprised if we end up winning this game. I do wish that one of these was a Will of Ionia, one of these sunbursts. The Ranger's Resolve was so good, you know, gave, just gave him that extra mana to be able to have both of them, both of those cards right now. Um, a little rough. They don't have any challengers. So I go. Yes, we're going. Well, that doesn't matter. Well, see a flower child. River shape the land. Get rid of a river shaper. River shaper is so good, though. Cannot use a barrier to save Shen. Even though I'd like for them to try. Darn. That's my resting 
Wow, this is awkward. Can't double spell. Perfect Ranger's Resolve. That, that was the Ranger's Resolve was the card that won that game. That was a great Ranger's Resolve. But yeah, that that I mean that match was about you know, and and we kind of saw that with with both of our losses of of uh, matches where it's about getting a, a whole bunch of cheap spells. That's you know both the decks that beat us were decks that went underneath us and were able to cast more cheap spells than us. Um, and we were just kind of sitting there with our sun you know both of our sunbursts there right away early in the game that we couldn't cast of course and and uh they were just super awkward um but yeah there we go all right so uh definitely a lot of powerful stuff with lulu Tarek, we got to play the first game that was really the only game i think it was the first game that we played Tarek. uh the demacia cards though are just bigger shen's just bigger you know like shen being a three five and then your other one being a two four challenger um with the uh, Laurent, where, oh, I mean, that's in Demacia. But, you know, the, the Protégé, your Shen, that's definitely going to be some some real troubles for your 1-1 one, one and your 2-2. Two, two. Just War Chefs eating Tiari, that hurt as well. Um, so those are just some things that we noticed with uh, just the size of Tiari and Young Witch whenever you're playing against similar kind of decks. River Shaper did pretty well, but then also against against a deck where they just have all larger units like that with the Shen and Protégé, also a little slow um, and, and just kind of too small. I guess not really slow, but small, too small. Um, so Journers looked strong, for sure, giving everything plus two, plus two. This card looked really strong. It was you know frequently like plus six, plus six permanent buffs across the board, um, basically each time we, that we had it. So it looked nice and strong. Um, but there we go. Good little synergy deck. And I think that these kind of synergy decks would probably be what you want to go underneath the Celestial Dragons kind style of decks that we just played a little bit ago. All right, but that's it here for Lulu Tarek. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave any comments. Uh, feel free to um, let me know what you want to see. What kind of champion combinations do you want to see on stream or like with videos? And, uh, you know, any any uh, suggestions you have about the deck, anything you've been doing that's been looking great, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks so much for watching. Some Lulu Tarek, and I will see you for the next video.